And now, Ukrainian food flair, tips for Ukrainian cooking, with Judy Hrnenko of Prairie Cottage Pierogies in Langley, brought to you by Hortitsa, Ukraine's premium vodka, available at select locations in BC in two flavors, classic and pepper honey hot. See www.xvodka.ca for details. Now, here's Judy. Vatimo, and welcome to Ukrainian food flair. One of the things that sets Ukrainians apart is our wonderful Easter baskets. These are not your typical North American Easter baskets filled with sugar candies and chocolate bunnies. Ukrainian Easter baskets are filled with ritual foods and centuries of tradition. At our home, it always seems to be a bit of a panic getting the basket ready for early church service. Don't you just love 4.30 a.m.? Easter service at our church is at the crack of dawn. We always get up extra early to make sure the basket is just perfect before leaving for church and to make sure it doesn't fall apart on the way to the car the way ours did one year. You would think with each year it would get easier. No, it doesn't. All the foods have to be positioned just so. It takes a lot of juggling and manipulation to fit everything in just right. There's the pasca, the babka, the meats, the cheeses, the butter, the salt, eggs. You have to position things so that the eggs don't fall to the bottom of the basket. We have piss and kia, which of course are raw inside, so I cradle the eggs in between the meats and the breads. That way, they won't roll out of the basket. Then after everything is just right, we cover the basket with our freshly ironed embroidered cloths called rushne kia in Ukrainian. In the old days, it was said that people judged the mistress of the house according to her Easter basket, what it contained, and how elaborately or not it was decorated. I think we probably overdo it on the decorating department. My Easter basket is permanently adorned with decorated wooden eggs as well as flowers and ribbons along the handle and on the outside edge. Remember, the basket should only contain a sampling of the foods you are going to eat for Easter, not the entire contents of the refrigerator. For your basket, you will need babka, pasca, garlic sausage, ham, pork roast, eggs boiled, and decorated, butter, cheese, horseradish, and salt. Oh, and do not forget your candle. It will go into the center of the pasca and bring along matches or a lighter. The Easter basket represents the feast of the Lord's Passover from death into life. In our Ukrainian rite churches, the foods traditionally blessed for Easter bear a very strong resemblance to the food prescribed for the ancient Passover meal. Here's some of the ancient symbolism surrounding our ritual Easter foods. Eggs are a sign of hope and resurrection. Jesus comes forth from the tomb as the chick breaks the shell at birth. Horseradish represents the bitter herbs prescribed in the original Passover meal as a reminder of the bitterness and harshness of life in Egypt. It also reminds us of the bitterness of Jesus' passion by which he entered into glory. Wine is the drink of the Passover meal and the Last Supper. Wine gladdens our hearts and helps us enter into the joy of the resurrection. Lamb, either the meat itself or symbolized in a cake or butter, molded in the shape of a lamb. The lamb symbolizes the ancient Passover food by whose blood the Israelites were saved. For Christians, Jesus is the Paschal or Passover lamb by whose blood we are saved. Ham celebrates the freedom of the new law, which came into effect through Jesus' resurrection. It emphasizes freedom from the old law, which forbade certain meats. Sausage. It's an ethnic addition to the celebration of Easter. Its links remind us that the chains of death were broken when Jesus arose. Bread. Reminds us of Jesus, the risen Lord, who in the Eucharist is the food of our earthly journey and the true bread of everlasting life. Now your basket is ready to take to church for blessing. To give your basket a finished and festive look, tie a few willow branches to the handle with pastel ribbons and add a few spring flowers, myrt or periwinkle, if you have it. Dopa bachinya, and if you're enjoying your Easter dinner right now, smach noho. Christos Thanks, Judy. 
Join us again next week for another cooking tip from Judy Hrenenko on Ukrainian food flair, brought to you by Hortitsa, Ukraine's premium vodka, classic and pepper honey hot. Available at select locations across BC. Details at www.xvodka.ca. Management and staff at AM 1320 CHMB remind you not to drink and drive. Herovena Ukrainian female quartet from Edmonton with the hymn of incarnation only begotten son and that is from a CD recording of the divine liturgy of St. John Chrysostom by an anonymous 17th century composer. <laughs> 